Okay, so we've uh, blocked out the body, and what we can do is start thinking about how we're going to do the mouth. And so what I like to do is just use a guide curve to begin with. So create curve tools, CV curve tool, and let's just create the mouth. Now I like to create like a slight little opening. Um, and so that means afterwards we can create like kind of like the, uh, the bottom lip and the top lip and there's a kind of like the little side bit around here which then comes down and then it goes around like this boom we're done now if you take a look here the uh, curve isn't closed so we we'll go to curves and we can close it boom there we go and so when you close it, it kind of leaves a bit of a sharpened edge. And so what we can do is go into Control Vertex, just grab this uh, CV, hit B to switch off Soft Select, and we can actually just move this across a little bit. And there we go. So we've kind of like softened the edge there. And again, if you want to, you can play around with the position of the uh, curves, although it looks pretty good. Maybe just make it a bit thinner. Oops, don't want to select the geometry. And yeah, it looks fine be honest there we go and that's kind of like a lip bit which we can do afterwards so we can't see the curve here and the reason for that is if you hit 4 it's inside so let's just grab all the vertices and just bring them forward hit 5 right so what do we need to do next well what I want to do is project this curve on the geometry here so when we read topologize in the geometry we can actually create the polygons that go around the mouth and so when I project a curve, I like to have more resolution on the geometry so it creates a better projection. So with this uh, geometry selected, just go to Mesh and hit Smooth and it creates more polygons and uh, by divisions of 1. If you want to, you can hit 2 and it creates even more resolution. And so that'll do. So I'm just going to delete the history on that. So what you want to do is grab the curve and then hold down Shift and grab the geometry. And go to edit mesh and it's project curve on mesh open the box now I like to have it on current view and so I like to go into the front view and so it projects the curve directly on the geometry without any distortion because if you're going to do it from like an angle like this it creates a distortion you see because it's not straight on you see so there we go and then just hit project curve and close and if you take a look the curve is now projected on the geometry. Now the good thing about this is you can select the curve and if you hit W for move where is the uh, pivot it's here so hit center pivot and if you move the curve the projected curve moves also you see and you can even go into the vertex level so if you grab like this vertex here and move it up it moves up here on the projected curve also so you can reshape the curve if you want to okay so I'm happy with it and so just grab everything and then just do delete history so now when you move the curve it has no influence on the projected curve another thing uh, you want to be mindful of is when you do a projected curve it also projects one at the back and we don't need the back version so just select it now if you find that it's hard to select a curve on the geometry you see I want to select the curve and I'm selecting the geometry by mistake because it's a bit difficult what you can do is click on this little blue square here boom, and that allows you to not select geometry so not select geometry so now if I try and select some geometry see I can't select it so when I do select the curve boom, guaranteed hit delete and switch this back on boom there you go alright so we've projected the uh, the curves for the mouth so what I like to do is save this just in case uh, we need to redo it so I don't like to delete it just yet so I just want to bung it on a layer click on that there we go and we can call this uh, projected curve layer so projected underscore curve underscore layer and I like to color code it because it's not geometry so I must do red and there we go so there you go, we have projected the curve onto the geometry, we'll end the video here and I will see you next video.